Hello everyone and welcome to my part three and the last part of my uh, tour on Google Classroom. Uh, we started three parts tour uh, that we talk about Google Classroom uh, and how it functions, how it works, how we can add and what can and cannot do. I created a classroom uh, here for my uh, ICT primary teachers, which where we, we set up a, a course um, and we did lots of uh, materials, modules, three modules that can run by in around eight weeks. We did quizzes, we did a website. Uh, part one, I showed you how we can create a classroom, how we can sign in, how, how we can manipulate between the three main pages, which is the stream. We talk a lot about the stream, that everything is here and how you create all of these. The students, how you invite students and about your course. Um, part two it was more focused about how on what uh, Google Classroom can do. Announcement, assignment, questions and post. Now, part three, it's uh, about what Google Classroom cannot do. Basically, uh, I want to say there is so many things that Classroom, uh, Google Classroom can do. And uh, with the help of its own family, which is Google product can do a lot. Now, I agree with you when we talk about the question here, create a question, there is no uh, multifunctional question sheet that you can do more than short answer and multiple choices. However, if you want to do more than that, we can go to another part of Google family and can do it. Our Google Classroom is just a tiny little part of the Google family. Google Drive is the big host of everything. So if you go to the class Google Drive, you will arrive to this point where we host on the Google Classroom should host all the documents that you created or anybody created in this class. And as you see, all the documents that have been created, they are all here. And we can create as teachers more. So let's create more. You just click a right click in your mouse and it shows up documents, sheets, slides, and more. And more, you can create the Google Forms where you use it for quiz, feedback, yeah. and size that I will show you also later on. Uh, let's go, I mean, you don't need me to, to tell you how to do Google uh, document sheets and slide because once you create it, it's shared with everybody and the forms as well. So let's head to the form. I wanna create one, see, create it and share. Once we click there, it will take you to the Google Forms. Once you arrive to Google Forms uh, homepage, you can go here to the template gallery where you really find all the galleries that you want, all the templates that you want. You see education here. You can do blank quiz, exit ticket, assessment, worksheet, and evaluation. Um, whatever you create here, it goes directly and saved in your account, in your Google account. You can do the test uh, Google. You can, you know, all of these are, um, you can create always uh, questions from here, add question, choose, and what kind of question you want. Here is, it, it gives you form, it gives you more options than just Google Classroom question option um, you can create one you know, adjust it what i want to tell you about forms before you submit everything and you have to know exactly how to use it and then we go and we do um uh create a spreadsheet for the responses and that is important for you as teacher because once all of your students have created their answer it goes directly and submit them it goes directly to the spreadsheet so you have them marked as well and once you come back to your uh, google drive you can choose another format if you want to do you want to do i don't know slides you want to do uh, more which is site google site create and share always because we are working in a shareable uh, platform called google classroom once you have it here again it's an easy way to create a website it gives you format text image upload embed whatever and even of course it goes back and forth to your google drive as well youtube calendar slide sheets forms 
you can create as much pages as you, as you want and you can do pages and sub pages as well and you can choose from any theme you want again once it's happened it's already in your google drive we need to you know to understand everything that you create everything you open and you create and share it's there shareable now the most important thing that i want to show you after you did all of these documents so google classroom is a form or a platform where you can share all of these important documents that you just created uh, you created assessment you can share it you can have the results you created quiz and tests and you created also using google form a spreadsheet where all the results goes there the website can be interacted uh, interactive website and uh, shared between all of your uh, student. So that's the most important thing about uh, Google Classroom. So Google Classroom can do that uh, for you with the help of other uh, websites. The other things that Google Classroom cannot do for you is to have uh, an online discussion forum. Like you cannot, as other platforms that can 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 offer, um, that everybody can discuss in the same website, in the same page. So you cannot um, do that using Google Classroom. So same time discussion online, it is something that Google Drive or Google Classroom cannot do unless you want to use a third party. Uh, so come in here to my, to my uh, Google Class. You see all these documents that I shared there are Google Forms, Google Sheet, Google Documents, all of with the help of my drive. However, I also could have used these, or I did use it. Uh, I used assignment and I used quiz for simple little questions. If you go to my website as well, and you go here, which I created, and you will see that I also inserted a lot of GUI, uh, graphical uh, user interactive. So I helped my students to go to Kahoot if I wanted to, or to other places, you know, or they can go to Class Dojo to visit it and more. So if you see, also I added the module one, module two, module three, so it's a separate and sub pages that where my student can see week one inserted some slide and week two here you can see or you can go back to module two and it's the same you can see the things back home um again you know uh, i wanted to say that yes uh, website is also a form that can be shared easily with Google Classroom. The last thing that I want to show you here also, the students. When you go to students, you can also see individual students by clicking on them and see how they work and what they are working on. See, for example, all of these discussion groups were assigned to them. There is one thing that he turned or she turned in and it still assigned in. Here you see uh, filters by how many turned in, returned with grade, missing, all these. This is important for you to, to know. Um, as well, I want to show you uh, the Google Classroom and the student perspective. So remember, we invited uh, Jennifer as a student. So here, her classroom like that, she opened it. And again, you remember the difference between us, the students, and classmates. So she have a classmates, yes. Uh, let's go to about. About. This is very good uh, platform because it is set up for students in a way that you can see your work. So if she answered anything, she will see. Here you go. Something assigned, something turned in, something not yet. Or she can go to Google Classroom folder and see exactly what we have seen and what is here you go. See the group discussion that was shared with her. She had one document that was shared in group one. This is the Google Classroom from a student uh, perspective. Uh, and again, um, it is so easy uh, that if she goes back to the classroom, you see, there is the tour, there is my, my drive. She can go and see all of these documents that we just shared with the classroom. 
that's what I want to show you. Students can, you know, this all the quizzes, they, they can do them. Um, they can answer. Here you go. Let's answer. So as I said, you, you know, all of these documents are shared with students, so they have no problem. So um, they can go back and forth between the streams and they see the last uh, things that I did. Open any document you want. You see uh, everything there. You can submit and done. Well, and that's it for me. That's the tour. I hope that I covered everything here and I covered everything for everybody. Thank you so much and good luck.